Hello, in this video I'll be covering different ways of obtaining statistics such as word, character and page counts within Scrivener. There are a number of places to obtain text statistics, the most obvious being the centre of the editor footer bar. Here you have a live word and character count. As you can see, this live count increases as I type. The same scenario also applies for full screen mode, where the statistics are detailed within the control bar at the bottom of the screen. If the live count statistics are missing whilst you are typing in the editor, the most likely thing that has happened is that you have switched into script writing mode, as word and character counts aren't displayed for scripts. Just go to text, script writing, script writing mode screenplay, or press command 3, to toggle back to text mode and get your visual live count back. Selected text statistics are available by control clicking whilst having the relevant text area selected. You can see your word and character count for the selected text at the bottom of the contextual menu. One thing to bear in mind with these live counts is that, in order to keep things fast whilst typing, they count all of the text in the editor, including any annotations you create, even though annotations may be stripped when you export or print depending on your settings. They also only show the statistics for the current document, although you can easily get the statistics for a group of documents by entering Edit Scrivening's mode, which combines documents together for viewing and editing. The other main place to get text statistics information is in the View Statistics menu. There are two types of statistics available here, Project and Text. Text statistics are only available if a document is selected and has the focus. Text statistics only work on the current document. As shown, there is a plethora of information available. Word count, characters with and without spaces, paragraphs, lines with a hard return, regular soft lines, and even word frequency. If we open up word frequency by clicking on this triangle, we can sort the columns as we wish and obtain the count for a particular word usage in the current document. If you want to obtain word frequency and the other presented statistical data for more than one document, again we can simply use the Edit Scrivenings feature. Here I am selecting a few documents, entering Edit Scrivenings, ensuring that the editor has focus, and then going to View, Statistics, Text Statistics to get the statistics pertaining to the currently selected documents. For the most accurate statistics for your entire manuscript, View Statistics Project Statistics is the place to go. It will show data for the draft folder and for the currently selected documents. Remember, draft is the default name for this folder. In some projects it may be called the manuscript folder or you may have renamed it to something entirely different. The information under the draft section provides the real word, character and page count information you would obtain if you were to go ahead and compile your draft to export or print to your manuscript. Pages printed relates to the number of pages you would get if you printed using Compile Draft. Pages Paperback is a rough idea of how many pages would be used if your manuscript was put into a trade paperback. The number of words per page in a paperback can be defined within the Options tab, as you can see here. There are other options under Page Count that are specifically for script writers and out of the scope of this video. One thing to note is that the draft statistics in the Project Statistics sheet uses the exact settings you have set up in the Compile Draft sheet. So if you have Compile Draft set up to only print a single chapter, then Project Statistics will show only the statistics for that chapter. It will also include anything you have set up to be included in Compile Draft, such as titles and so forth. By default though, unless you have changed your Compile Draft settings, it shows the statistics for the entire draft folder. If we now go back and look at the selection area of the statistics tab, you can see the relevant values for the documents I have specifically selected. If I click include subdocuments, then any subdocuments to the selected documents will also be added to the totals. You can see that the subdocuments to elders has now been included within the presented statistics. Going back to the options tab, you can see the choices we can select. Count all documents is intuitive. Count only documents marked for inclusion will only count those documents that have the include in draft box ticked 
within the inspector. Count only documents not marked for inclusion will do the inverse, only counting documents that are not set to be included. And we can also choose whether or not to count annotations or footnotes within our statistics. Another area of Scrivener from which you can obtain statistics is the Outliner. If I select my Part 1 folder and go to the Outliner, you can readily see basic information related to my selection outlined. If I go here and click, I can select to additionally show my word count, character count and total word count if I so wish. You can immediately see that total words correlate with words apart from the document titled Elders. This is because Elders has subdocuments. When we open the related disclosure triangle, statistics for the subdocuments also become visible. Total words shows the combined word count for a document and all of its subdocuments. So it is very useful for getting the word count of a chapter if you are storing chapters as folders with subdocuments for different parts within the chapter. As with the selected word count in the text, if we select several documents in the outliner and control click on them, you will see the combined word and character count for just those selected documents at the bottom of the contextual menu. You can do the same thing with the corkboard too. Selecting several cards and control clicking on them will bring up a total word and character count for the selected documents. Obviously note that the count refers to the text in the underlying documents, not to the synopses written on the cards. That covers the availability of statistical information within Scrivener. Goodbye for now.